Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're dedicated to delivering quality auto parts, expert customer service, fast and free shipping, all backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So visit us at 1AAuto.com, your trusted source for quality auto parts. Before jacking up the car, we want to loosen the lug nuts because it'll be easier to take the wheel off once it's up in the air. So we'll use a 22 millimeter socket and a long ratchet to break the lug nuts loose. We are going to be using a lift to jack up the vehicle, um, but it is very much possible to do this in a driveway with a jack and jack stands. We actually have another video uh, that we've already made showing you where to properly lift a Camaro of this body style. So you'll want to check out that for the proper lift points before taking the wheel off. Now that the vehicle's off the ground, we can finish taking off the wheel. We'll just spin all the lug nuts loose. And we'll take the wheel off. We're going to start off this project by hitting all of the bolts that we'll be removing with some uh, rust penetrant. We're going to start by removing the sway bar end link. Um, it has a, a 15 millimeter nut on the top of it, and then a five millimeter fits right in the center of it to hold the, the sway bar end link bolt in place. So we'll start by placing the, oops, actually, we'll start by putting the 15 millimeter on the nut, and then the 3 16 Allen, and then we'll be able to loosen the nut without the whole thing spinning. Once you've got the nut completely loose, you can finish taking the nut off, and then you should be able to pop this off with a pry bar. Where this one is damaged, it seems to be stuck on there pretty good, so we'll probably have to take out the bottom half as well. So now we're going to take off the bottom one, which is also a 15 millimeter uh, nut and then a five millimeter Allen head to hold the center. So right now the sway bar is sort of stuck in place. You can't really get a wrench on here very well because it's, pr it's pressuring, or it's putting pressure against the wrench when you turn it. So what we're gonna do is put a pry bar in here, pry down on the sway bar and pop the end link out of it. Like that. Since we're going to be replacing the sway bar end link anyways because it's bent, uh, we're just going to leave it in the lower control arm and take the whole thing out and throw it away. Here we have the new sway bar end link from 1A Auto. As you can see, it has the Allen heads in the center, uh, and it comes with the nuts, of course. We'll slide in the bottom first, and loosely put the nut on. And then, we'll slide it in the upper hole, and again, loosely put the nut right on. The sway bar end link is installed with a 15 millimeter wrench, we like to use a ratcheting wrench because it makes it a little easier. And then a five millimeter Allen, Allen um, wrench. Put the Allen in the center, 15 on the outside. For the top, same thing. Put your wrench on the, on the outer nut. And then five millimeter. Allen in the center. Now we're going to put the wheel back on and loosely install all the lug nuts. Now that the lug nuts are tightened by hand, uh, we're going to set it right back down on the ground and torque them to 140 foot pounds. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.